Well, we're still watching the tropics and it looks like things could be pretty interesting in the weeks to come. I'm meteorologist Samantha Moore. We've been talking about Imelda, the remnants of Imelda, still dumping rain across much of eastern Texas on up into Oklahoma. Uh, some of those thunderstorms being fueled with tropical moisture from Imelda. But boy, this is the fifth wettest tropical cyclone they have ever had there with over 44 inches of rain coming from that uh, tropical depression at this point or what's left of it anyway. Hey, and we're watching an extra tropical cyclone out in the Atlantic. This was Humberto. It is no longer tropical, but you can see how expansive it is. It's still able to bring in some uh, really heavy surf big waves here as it moves across the Atlantic. It'll most likely be impacting Europe as we head into next week as this is a very large extra tropical cyclone. Here is Jerry. Jerry is moving towards uh, the northern end of the Leeward Islands as we speak. 80 mile per hour max sustained winds gust to 100 is expected to make a curve to the north as a category one hurricane. It will weaken for a time as it makes that turn and it comes close to the Bahamas and then pushing off to the east. Most likely this will not be impacting the east coast. We'll keep our eyes on it just in case something changes. But right now the spaghetti models really making that curve off to the north and then over to the east. Very similar to what Humberto did and now it is over open water. So that is something good. So we have a few disturbances. We're watching this one that just zipped by that's going to bring heavy rain to Jamaica. The second one here will likely bring some heavy rain in as we head into the next uh, two to four days. It could likely as a 30% chance of developing into our next tropical system. But this is the best one, the National Hurricane Center, the best chance for it to develop. It's still an easterly wave over Africa. But look how well defined it is there. And it's over the deserts right now and it'll be moving over the warmer tropical water. So right now that one has a 70% chance of developing uh, into the uh, in the next five days. And it looks like it is on that due westerly course across the Atlantic. So this is going to be one to watch as we head into the days to come. And by the way, the next few names on the list, Karen, Lorenzo and Melissa. And it looks like it could be active in the days to come.